era justo que yo perdón yo trabajo doble turno para Jack and the Bass, un total de 14 16 horas y muchas de las veces no tengo días de descanso en una ocasión no completé para mi renta y desgraciadamente nos desalojaron de la propiedad a mis dos hijos terminamos viviendo en, la, en mi carro por seis meses fueron noches muy muy difíciles porque no era justo que estuviera yo en esas condiciones cuando tra estaba trabajando tanto por eso estamos pidiendo a los legisladores y al gobernador Newsom que nos apoye con la ley AB257 California is on the verge of securing major protections for more than half a million fast food workers through this historic labor bill. Fast food workers are celebrating a win this morning. It's impossible to ignore the demands, the needs of these working men and women. California has a chance to lead the country and address longstanding issues in the fast food industry by creating a statewide fast food sector council. It's being heralded as the most significant piece of pro-worker labor law to pass in generations. We are out here because you all deserve dignity. California Assembly Bill 257, also known as the Fast Recovery Act, could revolutionize how corporations, franchise owners, and employees interact and protect workers from harassment, wage theft, and mistreatment. The fight's universal. It's not just Jack in the Box, McDonald's, Taco Bell, Subway. It's all of them that need to be held accountable. Mistreatment, um, job wage theft, sexual, sexual harassment, no pay sick leave, no health care, no COVID pay, no PPE. We, we feed thousands of customers, then we're going home to figure out how we're going to feed our own families. The bill has passed both chambers of the California legislature. Now, whether California takes this huge step for workers' rights all comes down to Governor Gavin Newsom. This bill now heads to the governor's office and he has not yet indicated whether he will sign it or veto it. This governor has a choice to make. This bill passes and gets signed and people start working it out at the table or we'll keep bringing it back to the streets and they'll see what really Looks like. If signed into law, AB257 would form a 10-person council that includes fast food workers, restaurant owners, and government officials. The council would decide standards for issues like wages, training, working conditions, and safety and security. It would also establish an industry-wide minimum wage of up to $22 an hour. And it's criminal for these corporations to pay us so little and to treat us with so little respect. Republicans and corporate interest groups have mobilized to defeat the bill. This is the first step in 500,000 employees being unionized. I urge a no vote. But despite their opposition, AB257 has passed the California Senate and Assembly. Me gustaría que el gobernador Gavin Newsom nos ayudara a firmar esta ley, AB257. The workers here are uh, suffering and this would give a much needed relief to the workers that make all of these corporations money. 85% of California fast food workers surveyed reported they'd experienced at least one form of wage theft. We always went through a whole night without any pay. We we're always aware, uh, well, any pay like our breaks. You know, they won't pay our 30 minutes or 10 minute breaks. Eran las 16 horas corridas. Y en los 9 años, los 10 años que estuve trabajando para allá aquí de Vaz, yo no sabía que existían los 10 minutos de break. No los conocíamos. Porque como estás trabajando ahí, más te hacen trabajar, haces el trabajo de dos, tres personas, no contratan gente. Siempre me prometía que en el siguiente cheque me iba a pagar lo que me debía. Nunca llegó hasta la fecha. Almost a third of surveyed California fast food workers say they've been retaliated against for asking to be paid properly, taking a sick day, or asking to be paid for a sick day. Enough is enough. We need to solve this. It is not okay that people have to live in their cars. It is not okay that people have to give up their apartments. It is not okay that we have to go to food banks. It's not okay that we get harassed on the job. It's not okay that we're afraid if we, if we can't do that overtime, we're gonna get fired. It's not okay and that's gotta change. 
The council's standards would apply to California restaurants that belong to chains with 100 or more establishments nationwide. That's places like Arby's, Ben and Jerry's, Burger King, Chick Fil A, Chipotle, Cold Soul Creamery, Dairy Queen, El Pollo Loco, Panda Express, Panera Bread, Papa John's, Cadoba Mexican Eats, Raising Cane's Chicken, Subway, Sweet Green, Taco Bell, Wendy's. If signed into law. The council would be a step towards sectoral bargaining, a process where collective bargaining can secure benefits, wages, standards, and protections for workers across entire industries. This form of bargaining, more common in Europe, ensures more workers are covered as compared to more traditional American organizing that negotiates and secures contracts company by company and sometimes even location by location. Labor advocates hope California can be a model for how cities and states can help build power for working people and protect workers that are left behind by broken federal labor laws. AB 257 would kick it off. It would give a lead to so some people see that we're not playing and start in California, and then we're hoping that it would give it a domino effect. Whether you're in California, Missouri, New York, or Florida, all fast food workers deserve a seat at the table. Governor Newsom has until September 30th to sign or veto the bill. Tenemos Todas nuestras esperanzas en usted. Apóyenos, por favor.